We're recording. You start. Okay, it's been a really long time. <laughs> it has been a really long time. Do you long. even know who we are? I'm, I'm Joe. I'm Kaylin. <laughs> And we've been RVing full time for almost three years now. And we started doing videos like last year and a couple years ago and 2020 happened and... Nobody wants to go back to 2020, I don't think. No. <laughs> so we took a little break, let all the COVID stuff play out. And now we're back to filming new videos, but... But we're going to rewind you back to the oh naive days of april 2020 when we thought covid was going to go away in 14 days to slow the spread yeah it didn't yeah that didn't and happen. we kind of ran into a tornado yeah so enjoy roll the tape always wanted to say that <laughs> we've done a lot of moving in the past month three weeks ago we were right here Then a week and a half ago, we were here. And now we're right here. Stinking coronavirus. <sighs> we're in Guntersville, Alabama. Which is in the north. In the north. And we came here four weeks ago for a conference that ended up being canceled due to coronavirus. And we decided why not just kind of wait it out here. And we've been doing it in small little increments along the way. Thinking that every week or so, maybe things would start opening up and they just haven't. Uncertainty has kind of been our theme for the past month. But today we don't have to worry about that because we're here to the 15th. Today we get to worry about... A tornado! <laughs> Or two or three. And not just little blips, but long track tornadoes. All modes of severe weather will be possible, including tornadoes, damaging winds, and large hail. It's not perfect coverage, but it gets most of it. I still want to do something different because I feel goofy with air mattresses on my RV. We're hearing some thunder. Yep. It has started raining. I'm Whoop. getting out my nervous energy <laughs> on my little project. Personally, I used to love thunderstorms. They were my, one of the favorite things, just sit by the window, watch the lightning, watch a storm come in. But since I've lived in an RV, these are probably one of the most anxiety inducing things that we experience. When strong winds hit an RV, you quite literally feel it. So when we knew that there was gonna be severe weather today, it's just been a, a slowly building anxiousness uh, that, that comes through. Ultimately, maybe clipping the northwestern oh, wow. part of Tuscaloosa County. You're really seeing the winds pick up yeah. right now. That's on like that a hurricane. Camera. Yeah. Goodness gracious. Wow, the tree was almost sideways, and we're seeing the lightning, and it's definitely some very strong wind right now. That looks like a landfalling hurricane. Well, I've worked a few of those in my day. So let's go back to our double box, and again, that circulation is right here near Reform. Uh, maybe just a little to the east of there, moving northeast. Go find shelter, deer. Again, a lot of trees are down from this tornado in the bagley Sayre County line area. The weather radio just said we had a tornado on the ground right down here south of us. So the majority of this storm is absolutely passing south of us right now. Our county did get a tornado warning, but we are outside the polygon. And this guy keeps telling us to respect the polygon. We are right there where that finger point is on the screen. And this storm has continued to just track south of us. So I think we're out of the fear zone for this one. It's no longer 
We're no longer under any warnings. We never were under a warning. Our county was. I'll be honest, though, with you. I thought for sure when I saw those storms and where they were tracking that we were going to be going to the shelter. Uh, And I'm glad we had everything prepared. But I'm equally more glad. See what that is. So we're watching the guy again. We've got a severe thunderstorm warning at the moment and a tornado warning southwest of us. And again, that thunderstorm is crossing out of Walker coming up into Winston County. All right, guys, you got to be prepared. I know you're not going to be happy. Come on. So this is where we are. We are actually just above this. Okay. And this is a severe thunderstorm warning. Okay. However, so this, is moving. this is a tornado warning right here that just showed up. And if that spreads this way, I mean, we're right in it. So right. I just want to be prepared if that happens or if this gets extended up, we're just going to go. Okay. The city of Coleman's in the Polygon. Good hope. Hansville is in the Polygon here. Vinemont, Berlin, Simcoe, Holly Pond, all of these places, you need to be sheltered right now. Jeepers. You just brought the bunnies right into here. Yeah, it <laughs> safe if the RV isn't um, it's a big loss loss, so that's where a lot of the a lot of the concern is right now just back over to our side (laughs) our families are praying I just at this point like it's all in God's hands we're all clear Uh, we are still under a tornado watch till midnight because there's another Line of storms moving across Mississippi, so I'll be keeping an eye on them. Once they pass by safely, I'll be going to bed and calling it a night. Just letting this last cell phone come through. Doesn't look like it's gonna be much, so should be quick through, go to bed. What a weekend. Yes. Happy Easter to us. <laughs> Happy Easter. It was a weird Easter to begin with, with COVID, but COVID and tornadoes. Yay. Yeah. The threat level of tornadoes far surpassed COVID though. Absolutely. What went through your mind when you saw the tornado damage for the first time? It was really weird. And as we were filming some of the footage, I don't know about you, but I just felt Like we stopped after just a little bit just because I felt smarmy and like these people are really struggling to put their lives back together. I think the thing that hit me the most was seeing the other RV on its side because that that somebody's for them it's probably their recreation but it it struck me as that could have been our home right like with a tree through it or on the side i was also struck by how you'd have a house completely obliterated and not even 50 yards away you'd have an rv completely fine it's just amazing how a tornado is just such a tight path of such crazy damage but but tomorrow We head to Arkansas. Arkansas. I think it's still in Tornado (laughs) Alley. (laughs) Very much is. And we're there for a month at least. But uh, yeah. Well, maybe sometime in the future we'll see you on the open road. Bye. I picked out this outfit for this video. It's too peoply outside because, especially for COVID, it really has been too peoply outside. (laughs)